30 minute workouts, 20 minute recipes, 10 minute mindfulness. Ready to become? Get filled on the App Store or Google Play. Hi everyone, it's Joanna here. Today's workout is a 40 minute total body traditional strength training. That means we will be targeting each muscle group separately. This is not a fast paced workout, it's not a high impact workout. We will take it slow because we want to really hit each muscle group and really build your muscle strength, all right? So there will be a total of three circuits. The first circuit will be working on our lower body, second circuit on our upper body, and the third circuit will be focusing on our core. So if you have a pair of dumbbells, get your dumbbells ready and let's start lifting. If you only have one pair of dumbbells, then choose a medium weight pair of dumbbells. I would say between 4 to 6 kilos. If you have two pairs, then go for medium weight as well as a light pair of dumbbells, okay? So let's start with a little bit of warm-up. Stand shoulder width apart with your toes pointed forward. What I want you to do is place your fingers directly underneath your um, toes and just squat back, straighten your legs, squat down, look straight and straighten your legs, okay? So we're warming up on our legs as well as stretching on our hamstrings good down push your butt back open up your chest and push it back very nice good if you can't straighten your knees that's fine keep it slightly bent okay if you can't grab your toes that's fine too grab hold of your ankles squat and up all right two more last one and up okay now let's do a little bit of side-to-side -side lunges, okay? So step in the middle, step to the side, feel the stretch on your inner thighs as well as your outer glutes. Step back in the middle, to the left, back in the middle, and to the right. Good. Step out, push your butt back, engage your legs, and step back in. Push it back, in, one more, step out, Really go as low as you can and back in. All right, a little bit more stretches. What I want to do is get into a lunge position, okay? What I want to do is just feel the stretch on your legs. And now I want you to switch over, stretch it out, open up, reach the top. Good, step back into a plank, out, stretch it up. Last few more, back, step in, Stretch up, step back, in, up, and now slowly come back up. All right, so grab your dumbbells, okay? The first workout is going to be a tempo squat. So just place the dumbbells on your shoulders. What I'm going to do is stand shoulder width apart and slowly lower yourself down in three counts and push yourself back up in one count, okay? So one, two, three, up. Remember, we're not rushing through our workout. I want you to really focus on your form and really engage your quads and your glutes. Push yourself up, suck your belly in, and up, good. Nice and easy, and push yourself back up. All right, so remember, push your butt back, up, Keep your elbows close and up. Squeeze your glutes right at the top. All right, so drop one dumbbell. We're getting into a single leg lunge. Take your left leg back. Grab hold of the dumbbell on your right hand. Again, simple movement. All I want you to do is lunge down and come back up, okay? I want you to lean your body forward slightly. This way, you will really feel the work on your right glutes good and place your hand back so all the work should only be on your right thigh back down and up okay so lean your body forward slightly but still keeping your chest up right so you're not hunching forward okay it's just a slight lean and up good one leg at a time up straighten it up, push it back, lower yourself down. If you want to, you can look straight ahead and up. Good. Now let's 
change side, okay? So left leg forward, right leg back, switch over. Again, a slight lean forward, right hand back, and step back and get into a lunge. So your knee should be in line with your toes. If you can, if you can try to get your right knee to tap the floor gently and come back up. I really want you to go deep, go low, and really feel the engagement in the glutes and that work on your glutes and your left leg, okay? So this is not a fast-paced workout. We're not going to increase our heart rate too much. We're going to keep it at a steady pace, but I want you to really feel the work on each muscle group. Back down, up, down again, up, few more, find your balance, and up. All right, place both dumbbells down. Now let's get onto all fours. It's going to be a bridge leg sweep, okay? So let's start on our left side. What I want you to do is kick back, squeeze your glutes, extend it out, and immediately kick back and out to the side. So it's like a sweep, but at the same time, try not to rotate your hips too much. That constant squeeze should be, you should feel the constant squeeze on your left glutes, okay? That under butt. Squeeze it, really lift it up. Try to keep it back flat, squeeze it, good. Slow and nice, and feel the work on your outer thighs as well. Squeeze, kick it out, up, good, there you go. Feel that tension, that's what we want, that constant contraction, and up. All right, now on your right side. So switch over, again remember, kick back to, to the side, back and to the side, okay? Kick it up, good. Feel the squeeze on your glutes, okay? Point your toes out to the side, straight back, as high as you can without overarching your lower back. Up, squeeze it, good. Squeeze, extend, up and to the side, good. You might find that your body is trying to lean down when you're sweeping your leg to the side. So brace your core, tighten your core, pull it back, kick it back. Very nice, out, up, squeeze, last two more. Push it, squeeze it, one more, and up. Okay, now let's work on our outer thighs, okay? If you want to, you can grab the dumbbells or you can do this workout without the dumbbell. So it's gonna be a side leg raise with weight, okay? So point your toes, lift it up to the side. With the dumbbell on your thigh, you're going to feel extra um, tension and it's gonna make your leg work a lot harder. So it's going to really scalp that outer thigh. If this is too much, drop the dumbbells, okay? A gentle tap and up. Don't rest, tap, up, squeeze, whew. I can feel it burning, up, nice. As high as you can, remember that your legs should be slightly back, okay? So do not go forward, this is wrong. Back, up and down, feel the burn, keep the tension, good. And now, let's switch over. Oh, good, very good, doing really well. Again, just gently place the dumbbell on your thigh and ready, point, kick it up, down and up, okay? If you don't have a dumbbell, you can also use a plate. Push it up, tap it down, up, good. Chest upright, do not sink, push your shoulders away, tap and up. There you go, lift it up, good. Keep going, and we want to repeat the entire circuit again right after this. Good job, keep going, up, feel the burn. Let's not stop right now. Squeeze, few more, give me three more. One, two, last one more. Squeeze, and now just come back up. 
Okay, grab your weights. We're starting from the first workout, which is a tempo squat, all right? So remember, stand shoulder width apart, point your toes and your knees forward. Do not step too wide or go too narrow, okay? And gently rest the dumbbells on your shoulders, all right? Chest up, stand tall, push your butt back, and one, two, three, push yourself back up, squeeze your glutes right at the top. Good, I want to see a deep squat. Go low, up, there you go. Very good, up. As you can see, all these workouts, it's working on one muscle group at a time. And it's very specific, okay? It's not a functional movement, but rather it's really targeting each individual muscle group. Down and up, good. Push your butt back. Up, keep your elbows close to your body, squeeze, down, up, one more, up, and good. Drop one weight. Okay, are we ready? Single leg lunge. Let's start with our right side forward, left leg back. Find your balance, brace your core, look forward and remember a slight lean forward. Just a slight lean, tap down, and come back up, okay? Low lunge, try to get your left knee to tap the floor and push up with your right heel. Up, squeeze your right glutes. Good. So you're just grabbing on to the dumbbell, okay? Not too tight. Good. Down it up, push it up. Keep your back flat. Breathe out as you come up. Good. Up. Good. Again, we're not rushing through the workout. So slow down, fast up, okay? Now, let's switch over. All right, left leg forward, right leg back. Hands, dumbbell on your left hand. Ready? A slight lean forward. Let's go. Tap and push up, okay? So, find a comfortable spot where you're able to balance yourself. So don't step too wide or too narrow. Good, back down, push up. And remember, don't lock your knees, okay? Keep a slight bend throughout, good. Squeeze your left glutes. Feel the burn, keep going. That's the tension we want, feel it right on your glutes, your hamstrings, and your thighs. Good. Lunge up and down. Okay, drop the dumbbell, okay? Now, let's get into the leg bridge sweep, okay? So get onto all fours, starting on one leg, kick it back, sweep it to the side, up, squeeze, Remember, as you squeeze, hold it for one count and slowly drive it to the side, okay? I want you to feel the contraction before you sweep your leg out. Squeeze, good. Breathe out and squeeze. Let's do it together. Very nice. Right at the under butt. Good. Push it, point your toes. Give me two more, okay? Let's go, two more. One, two, and now let's switch over. All right, still on all fours, brace your core, keep your back flat, spread your fingers if you need to, and ready, kick your left leg back to the side, up, squeeze to the side, and up, very good. Again, remember, that you should be pushing away from your shoulders. To the side, squeeze, out. Do not drop your legs, try to maintain a straight line. Squeeze, good. Feel the stretch on your hamstrings and the tension on your glutes. Keep going, breathe out. 
with every contraction, breathe out. Good. Come, let's kick it higher. Good job. Last few more. Last one more. Give me one more, okay? Up and back down. Okay, choose your option. Either with or without a dumbbell. Okay? Side leg raise. So just gently rest your upper body. Straighten one leg. And ready? Raise it up. Point. Tap down. Up. Tap. Up. Good. So, just gently rest the dumbbell on your thigh and feel the work on your outer thigh, okay? And also your glutes, your outer glutes as well. Up. Good. Gentle tap. We want to maintain the tension. Do not rest right now. Keep the tension going. Feel the burn. That's what we want. Breathe out. Oh gosh, it is burning. There you go, slow movement, yet very effective to build muscles. Up, down, up and down. Good. Change side, okay? This is the final workout for your lower body circuit. So give me your best effort. Dumbbell on your thigh, ready? Let's finish this strong tap. Up, down, up. Good job. You you should find that one leg is usually stronger than the other. So my left, my right leg is stronger. Tap and down. Good. And remember again, breathe out as you raise your leg up. Good. Keep going. Look forward. Up, squeeze it. Hold for one count right at the top. Back down, up, down, up. Last two more, up, one more, up, and good job. Just drop the dumbbell, take a short one minute break, and we want to move into our upper body circuit. For the second circuit, we'll be splitting the exercises to work on your back, your chest, shoulders, as well as your arms, okay? So, grab the heavier dumbbell, okay? For the first workout, we will be working on your back muscles. So, it's going to be a row with a reverse fly. So, let me just show you. Again, stand shoulder width apart with your toes pointed forward. Keep a slight bend on your knee and I just want you to slowly bend from your hips. Remember, do not hunch, okay? Flat back, pull the dumbbell towards your waist and then now pull it out. So remember, dumbbell towards your waist, spread your wings and fly. Good. So, point your elbows back to begin with and now spread your elbows out. So it's a row and a reverse fly. This is going to work on your lats, your traps, your rhomboids, basically every part of the back muscles and remember a slight hinge forward good maintain that position row and reverse fly good point your elbows back reverse fly very good the second exercise is going to work on your shoulders alternating are not press so start by keeping your palms facing towards you, okay? So what we want to do is to rotate and press the dumbbell up, one at a time, okay? So always keep your elbows close to you, press it up, feel the work on your shoulders, and back down. There you go. So rotate your wrist out and press the dumbbell up using the strength from your shoulders. Avoid this, okay? Don't do this. If you're doing this, then the weight is too heavy for you. Brace your core, keep a slight bend on your knee, and press the dumbbell straight up. Very good. There you go. 
and back down. Okay, this time I want you to drop the dumbbells and grab a lighter pair of dumbbells. I would say between one to three kilos. The next workout, we're going to work on your side delt and also your front delt, okay? So it's gonna be a side raise and a front raise, good. So spread your arms out to the side and drive your arms forward. Remember that your palms should always be facing down. Don't do this, this is wrong. Palm facing down, point your elbows back and keep a slight bend on your elbows. So this is not an easy workout. Our shoulder are small muscles basically, so you can grab lighter weights, okay? Forward and side, good. Spread to the side and forward. Again, avoid bouncing. Good, and drop it. Still with the lighter pair of dumbbells, we're going to work on our arms, specifically on our triceps. So tricep kickback. Again, just like the first workout, hinge forward slightly, keep your elbows tight, kick the dumbbells back, okay? So as you can see, I'm only moving my forearm and I'm squeezing my triceps right at the top, okay? Hold it for one count right at the top and lower it back down, good. So it's not this, this is wrong. Keep your elbows close, move your forearm, Bend for your forearm, squeeze your triceps right at the top, lower it back down, up, back down, and up. Good. Breathe out as you drive the dumbbells up. Good. Slowly lower it back down with control. Very good. Now, drop the dumbbells. Get down onto the floor, grab your heavier pair of dumbbells. This is going to be a bridge fly, okay? So this is going to work on your chest. Lift your butt off the floor, dumbbells up, spread your elbows and bring it in. That's it. So gentle tap on the floor and drive the dumbbells in. Palms facing in, all right? Use the strength from your chest to drive the dumbbells in and squeeze. Good. If this is too heavy, you can use the lighter dumbbells. And remember, keep your glutes up, squeeze your glutes. I want you to be working on your glutes at the same time. Squeeze it, do the work on your chest. If this is too much, just drop your butt and just focus on your chest. Good, so choose your option. Very good. Now slowly come back up. The finisher is gonna be a renegade row. I love this exercise because it works on your chest, your shoulders, your back, as well as your arms. So grab the dumbbells, get into a plank position. We want to add a push-up and a row, okay? So spread your feet wide. One push-up to work on your chest, and as you row, it's going to work on your back, your shoulders, as well as your core to balance you. Good, row, one push up. If this is too tough, remember, choose the easier option, get onto your knees. If not, stay with me. This is your final workout for this circuit and we'll repeat the entire circuit once more. Row, good, it's a challenge, but it's a good challenge. Up, row, and row. All right, okay. Short break, let's get back up, grab your dumbbells. First workout is going to be a row and a reverse fly, okay? So we're starting with our back. So again, point your toes forward, keep a slight bend. Bend from your hips, do not drop, chest up, push your butt back a little bit. Remember, keep your elbows tight, pull the dumbbells in, spread your elbows out, pull the dumbbells in, good. Spread it and pull. Good. The contraction should be on your back. And remember, slowly lower the dumbbells down. Do not just release the dumbbells. Row, out. Very good. This is a great combo for your back muscles. Row, 
and out. There you go. And just gently gaze on the floor. Okay? Keep a neutral neck. Good. One more. Reverse fly. And come back up. All right. Alternating are not press, okay? So bring the dumbbells up, palms facing you. And now rotate your wrist, press it up, rotate and press. Good job. Keep pressing it up and up. One at a time, okay? Fully focusing on one shoulder at a time. So remember, slowly lower the dumbbell down. Do not just let it collapse. Press up. The dumbbell should be right above your head, okay? Good job. Strong arms, strong shoulders. Push it. Very good. Up. Breathe out as you push up. Few more. One more on each side. And last one. And now drop it. Grab your lighter pair of dumbbells. If you don't have any, you can even do the workout without any dumbbells, okay? It's going to be a side to a front raise. Ready? Out. Keep your elbows bent. Forward. Good. Raise your core. Spread it to the side. Up. Very good. Nice and controlled, okay? Don't just let the weights drop. Up. Control. Forward. Nice. Spread. Feel the squeeze on your side and your front shoulders. Up. Good job. Small muscles, but we have to work on them, okay? If you want a nice and defined arms, this is one of the best exercises to do. Up. Spread it out. Forward. That's one more. Forward. And okay. Tricep kickbacks, okay? So, just like the first workout, keep your knees slightly bent. Lean forward. Tuck your elbows close to your body. Only moving your forearm. Let's go. Kick it back. Hold it for one count. Up. Hold it. Squeeze at the top. That squeeze is going to really help you to develop strong muscles, okay? Every rep counts. Every rep should be a quality rep. So, make it worth it. Squeeze. Don't rush through the workout. Squeeze. Very good. Feel the contraction on your triceps. Up. Down. There you go. Up. And down. Hold it. Stay with me. Hold it. Good. Strong arms, ladies. Let's go. Up. Down. One more up and down. Okay, drop the dumbbells. Grab your heavier dumbbell. Let's get down onto the floor into a bridge position. Dumbbell straight up. Bridge position. Let's go. Chest fly. Okay, spread your elbows out. A gentle tap on the floor and bring it back up. Okay, brace your core. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your chest up. So your dumbbells should be in one straight line with your chest. It should not be too high or too low. Look directly at your dumbbells. Feel the contraction on your chest. Up. Nice and controlled. Down and up. Good job. Up. Let's go. Love it or hate it. We got to make our upper body strong. Okay, a finisher workout. Renegade row. One of the toughest but best workout for your upper body. And we're going to add a push up. So spread your feet wide. One push up, row, and row. If this is too tough, what you can do is release one hand, place it on the floor, and row. And do a normal push-up and row, okay? This is an option. If you have strong wrists, then stay with me. Push up, hold on to the dumbbells and row. Remember, 
keep your back flat, okay? Do not pike. This is wrong. Back flat, butt down. Push up. Strong arms. One more. And just rest it out. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? You have completed two circuits. Lower body, upper body, and the finisher is going to be your core, okay? We're going to be working on our upper abs, lower abs, as well as our obliques. So take a short break. For this final round, you can choose to do all the exercises without any weights. If you want to challenge yourself, then grab one dumbbell, okay? So we will be on our mat throughout the entire workout. So lie on your back, grab your weight, or you can choose to do without any weights. It's going to be a full crunch. So the first workout, what I want to do is raise your leg to a 90 degree position, extend the dumbbell out, crunch in, drive your knee into your chest, Extend your leg straight, crunch in and out. Good. So do not rest your legs on the floor, okay? This is a full crunch, working on your upper as well as your lower abs. Remember to only extend your legs straight out without overarching your lower back. So really squeeze your core, engage your core, tighten it and breathe out as you come up. Good. Working on our core muscles. Last two more, crunch up and drop the dumbbell, okay? We won't need any weights. The next workout is going to be alternating leg raises. So this workout will focus more on your lower abs. What I'm going to do is just place your hands by your head, lift your shoulders off slightly, straighten your legs, and just alternate your legs up and down, okay? If you can't, this is too tough, what you can do is bend your knees. This works too, okay? So choose your option. If not, straight legs, straight legs, up and down, good. Breathe out, okay? This is a painful workout, but it's really good for your lower abs. So, no rush, one step at a time. Breathe out and out. Oh, I can feel the burn. Okay, get back up. Let's get into a plank position. And we want to work on Spider-Man plank. And this is going to be for your obliques. Okay, so get into a high plank, drive your left knee to your left elbow, right to your right elbow, okay? Nice and easy. Feel the work on your obliques. Good. Spread your knees out, open up your hips, and try to get your knee to your elbow. Good, keep going. Stay in a high plank, do not pike your butt up, okay? Maintain this position, stay in a high plank, good. Knee to elbow, very good. Keep going, you're almost there. That's one more, and just drop onto your knees. Okay, the final workout is a really simple yet effective workout, plank. That's all we're gonna do, okay? Simple yet effective, and I want you to really focus on your core and just hold it for 45 seconds. Okay, so keep your back flat, push away from your shoulders, okay? So remember, this is not a plank, this is not a plank, okay? Back flat and really brace your core. Suck your belly in, tighten your core, feel the shake. If your entire body is shaking, that's all right, that is normal, okay? I want you to really feel the work on your entire body, not just your core, but you should feel the work on your upper body as well as your legs. Good, hold it, a nice solid plank. Only five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, 
and one. Okay. Oh. That is the end of our core circuit and we want to repeat the entire thing once more. All right. So now let's lie on your back. Choose your option with or without the weights, okay? You're towards the end of your workout, so everything is that little bit more challenging. All right, grab onto your weights, lift your legs up, keep it at a 90 degree position, extend your arms out, crunch in, extend it out, and in. Good. Breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out, okay? The goal is to get your shoulders off the floor and drive your knee close to your chest. Extend it out and in. Good job. Just focus on every rep. Again, if this is too much, I don't want you to, um, I don't want you to stop the workout, drop the weight, okay? Last one more out and just drop the weight all right are we ready for alternating leg raises okay just gonna quickly tie my hair all right so arms by your head extend your legs choose your option okay so you can drive one knee in and extend one leg or if you want a more challenging option, straight legs, up and down, okay? Choose your option. My abs is absolutely burning. Woo! Let's not stop right now. Go for the easier option, okay? Stay with me, finish the workout strong. And just look straight ahead or gaze at the ceiling. Oh, oh my God, if you're feeling the burn like me, let me know in the comments below. Okay, get back up. Time to work on your obliques. Spider-Man plank, all right? So the goal here is to spread your fingers apart for you to have a better base. Get up and now drive your knee out and forward. Good, there you go, one step at a time. Keep your back flat, tighten your core, and just drive it forward. Good. Breathe out. Strong core. Let's finish this. Push. Good. Last few more. Give me two more. Last one more and drop okay oh my god oh, core exercises are always more challenging okay but you have to build a strong core in order to have a strong foundation let's end with a plank okay on your elbows ready hold i know the last place that you want to be right now is right here but i want you to finish the workout strong with me okay so just know that you have gone this far, you have gotten this far through the workout, you are strong and we will finish this workout strong. You only have 20 seconds left, hold it, tighten your core, squeeze, feel the shake, I am shaking with you. 10 seconds left, do not drop right now. Five seconds, four, three, two and one. Oh my gosh. Okay, now let's just get into a child's pose and just slowly stretch it out. Take this time to breathe. All right. Okay, very, very well done. You have completed a total body strength training workout, okay? We have worked on our lower body, our upper body, as well as our core. So let's spend two to three minutes to stretch our body out, okay? So what I'm going to do is just lie on your belly, 
palms by your side and just get into a cobra and push yourself away from the mat and feel the stretch on your lower back, your core, as well as your arms, okay? And remember, you're pushing away from your shoulders. Do not sink in. Push away and just look straight ahead. Very good. And just breathe right here. All that hard work, well done. And now it's important to also stretch your muscles out because it will help to reduce muscle soreness. And now just bring your left leg forward, okay? We want to stretch out the hip flexor and just drive your arms up. Push your weight forward, all right? Push your weight forward. For those of you with type hip flexor, you will really feel this stretch. Up, look straight ahead and hold here for 10 counts. And now slowly drop your arms and twist to the side and just look as far back as you can. Okay, and now straighten the front leg and feel the stretch on your hamstrings, okay? We've done a lot of works on our legs, so let's just gently stretch the hamstrings out. I have tight hamstrings, so this is really important for me. Stretch it out. Good. And now bend the front leg into a 90 degree position. Straighten your back leg and I just want you to slowly lower and drop your body. This is going to again stretch out your hip flexor but also your glutes. Okay, so only go as far as you can. If this is your limit, that's fine. If you can go lower, then rest your elbows onto the mat. For those of you who are super flexible, then by all means, Extend forward, okay? And remember, with every stretch, don't fight against it. Breathe into the stretch and really just embrace it, okay? Don't overstretch as well. And now slowly come back up. And now push your left leg back. Bring your right leg forward. We're going to repeat the entire stretch on the other side. Again, Arms up, remember, drop your body weight forward. Good. So you should feel the stretch on your left hip flexor right here. Extend, flat back, look straight ahead. And just hold the stretch for 10 to 15 counts. Okay, good. And now slowly, Drop your arms, twist, and look the opposite side as far as you can. Keep your back flat, feel the stretch on your spine, your lower back. Good, and now straighten your front leg. Stretch your hamstrings. Good, so avoid bouncing, okay? Just hold the stretch. And now just fold your front leg, drop the back leg, and again, drop your body forward, either on your elbows, on your palms, or all the way forward. And just hold it right here. Very good. And slowly push yourself back up. Okay, guys, very well done. That's a 40 minute workout, okay? I hope that you will continue to do this workout because this will really help you to build muscle mass and to also get you stronger, okay? What you can do is combine this workout with my other HIIT workouts to add in the cardio element. And if you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up, add this to your playlist, do this workout consistently for at least um, four weeks, repeat it two to three times weekly, and do check out my YouTube channel for a lot more other full-length workouts as well as healthy recipes. And I will see you in my next workout session. All the best, let me know in the comments below how you felt.